Look who's here, Spark. It's Mr. Saltwater Tank. He's bringing goodies. More goodies. Hey, hey buddy. There he is, buddy. You hold that. All right. I'm going to pet the dog. What should you bring me today? Let's go have a look. Well, it looks cool. You know, my son out in Colorado has something that looks just like this. Uh, you know, reefing's legal there. Really? Yeah. Maybe we should move. Into Colorado? I love Colorado. The mountains and... And reefing. Reefing. <laughs> reefing. I think he calls it reefing, too. I don't know. When I told him I was a reefer, he was kind of excited about it. And then I said, well, it's a fish tank. And he's like, oh, sorry, Dad. It's something else. Well, so. now you have a protein skimmer for your reef tank. So protein skimmer, mm -hmm. like peanut butter, eggs. Protein powder. Protein powder. Yep. So I'm guessing this just cleans garbage out of my tank. Pretty much. It takes large organic molecules and it skins them out of your tank. Where it works is it takes air and water, injects it into the body of the skimmer, got all these little air bubbles in there, large molecules get stuck on the top of the bubbles, they float up to the top of the skimmer, the bubble pops, and it pushes the waste into the cup. So it's a bubbler. It's basically a bubbler that takes out large organic molecules, help takes, makes your tank cleaner, less maintenance on your tank as well, and it makes your water clearer too. Okay, well, I've had my tank running for a few months. Why am I doing this now? So, one, you don't have a lot of fish in your tank. You've got four fish, but you don't have a lot. So there's not a lot of bio load, which is fish waste, things like that in the tank. So your tank really isn't that dirty. And when a tank is new, I like to get some of those nutrients up. I don't want to strip it down and make the water parameters very, very low, nitrates, phosphates in the beginning. So I want to get some funk in your tank to help things grow okay. in your tank. This is one of those components that you can add later. I've talked a lot about get your tank started. You can add certain components later. You don't have to have everything right at the start. You don't have to have the skimmer right at the beginning. There's even some tanks that have never had a skimmer that do okay. But in your case, I know you want to get into those hard corals. We want less maintenance for you. The skimmer is going to help with that. All right, I have one more question. Since it's bubbling, mm. is it going to make a lot of noise? No, they don't. This has silencers on it. They don't make a lot of noise. Not at all. All right. Well, good. So now you get to do your favorite thing in the world, read the instructions, and put it together. I thought I was going to run, get lunch for us, and you were going to install this for me. No, that's not how this works. Lunch does I tried. Window. I tried. All right. So Mr. Saltwater Tank left the room and left me with a Sparky supervising my assembly of my new skimmer. So I just took everything out of the box, took a look at the instructions, and just followed along. Pretty straightforward stuff. Had to uh, assemble a few things. I had to get a pump out of the bottom of the box, screw it into the bottom of the skimmer, use the screws that I unscrewed. I think they're made out of titanium so they don't corrode. And then start putting this thing back together according to the instructions. Really straightforward and simple, not intimidating at all. But uh, I still don't really know what this thing's gonna do how it works, I guess it bubbles, but uh, let's get Mr. Saltwater Tank back in here and have him tell me how to use this thing. All right, Jimmy, you got your first protein skimmer. Looks complex, it's actually straightforward. Let me walk you through the components so you'll know what to adjust and what you need to clean. Okay. So this is the cup, comes right off just like that. Off and on, pretty easy. This is pretty much the only part of this thing you're gonna clean. Okay, it's like a Mr. Coffee. If you drink it, let me know how it tastes. Okay. We'll give you a saltwaterclaim.com gift certificate. All right. All right, so then we have the body of the skimmer here. Does that apply to the viewers as well? Just you, Jimmy. If they send in a video. Only you. Okay. You're the special one. Okay. Body of the skimmer. This is the adjustment pipe here. This is... Pipe? pipe. Adjustment pipe? Yep, adjustment pipe. Don't get excited. I here. thought it wasn't a pipe. It is. <laughs> Silencer here with the air tube that comes down into this thing, which removes this. It's called a volute. That's a made up word. It's not. That's a flugel dangle. <laughs> <laughs> a what? A volute. A volute. Your air comes in here. So this plugs into the front of the pump. Your pump pulls in water. It also pulls in air at the same time 
to make the protein skimmer work. And by the way, that's hard to do from behind. Mm. And then inside the body of the skimmer, you have the pump and the needle wheel. The nice thing about this NIOS Quantum is it's clear. You can see if junk gets in there and if you need to take this thing apart. But for the most part, you've built it, it's set. All you're gonna have to really worry about once you get it dialed in, which we'll talk about in a minute, is cleaning the cup. Cleaning the cup. Cleaning the cup. So there's, uh, I'm putting this in to help my tank be cleaner. Mm. But now it's another component I have to clean. You ready? This, this is cleaning it. Take this off, go to the sink, rinse it out, wipe it down, put it back. Can I put it in the dishwasher? No. Once or twice a week, that's it. Okay. If that's too much for you, buddy, I'm taking the tank. <laughs> no, <laughs> it'll be cool. While you're researching protein skimmers, make sure you note the recommended operating depth of that skimmer. Every skimmer manufacturer is going to tell you the sweet spot for that skimmer. It's usually between six and a half and nine inches of water depth. You want to match that to the operating depth of the protein skimmer box section of your sump. So if your protein skimmer is in too much of water, it's too deep in the water, it's going to overflow constantly, you're going to get frustrated and wonder what's going wrong. You can fix that problem by either raising up the skimmer, putting it on a protein skimmer stand, we sell those too, or you can lower the baffle height after the protein skimmer box if you have an adjustable baffle sump. Flip of that is, if your protein skimmer is in not enough water, it's going to have to work too hard to get bubbles up into the cup and it's not going to work right. You got that problem, raise the baffle after the protein skimmer section to raise the water height in the protein skimmer box. Or if you don't have an adjustable baffle, you can raise your ATO sensor, which will then raise the operating height of the sump overall. Either way, make sure you get that operating depth of the skimmer, match it to the operating depth of the skimmer box section of your sump. It's gonna make that skimmer work better, it's gonna make your tank look better, and make you a happy reefer. All right, Jimmy, we're up and rolling. You got your protein skimmer installed. Mark oh, is yeah. totally bu bubbling over up there. Yep, that, that's normal. For a new protein skimmer, first couple days, I expect it to overflow. That's why I pulled a plug off the bottom of the cup. So if it overflows, it just flows back into your sump. It's not really skimming right now, that's just water. Okay, so it's not gonna to bubble up this cover right off? Nope, because it's draining right down the bottom of the cup. Oh, okay. Okay. Unless you pulled that plug off there. So that's fine for now, let it bubble over. It's not a big deal. After a day or two, once it settles down, put the cap back in, and then we're gonna use the adjustment knob here to adjust the bubble, the bubble level in the body of the skimmer where it's just underneath the cup. With under here, it's yep. gonna bubble down only down there. Yep. Okay. Yep. It seems like it's never gonna get there where it is right now. So I see the screw it. adjustment up and down. Yep. You just you turn this. That's all you gotta do. Until it's only bubbling right out down there. Yep. But I gotta wait a day or two. Yeah, it's gonna have to break in. So you ask about cleaning this thing. Yeah. How do you clean it? Once or twice a week, depending on how full the cup is. Turn off the skimmer. Take the cup out, wash it in the sink, wash it with hand, you don't need any soap. Put it back in, turn the skimmer back on. Okay, turning it on and off, I just have to unplug it. Yeah, or you got that snazzy little thing where you talk to it and you tell it to do things. Yeah, so I'm my Alexa. Computer, turn off sump lights. Ooh. All right, well, I guess we better go get lunch then since it's dark underneath here. I can fix that. Computer, turn on sump lights. Go get us lunch, computer. Oh, sorry, she's not sure she can't get us lunch. You know Amazon is recording everything we just said. Amazon? Yeah. Her name's Alexa. They're listening. Oh. After a couple days, Jimmy's skimmers broke in and it was off to the skimming races. Done, done, and done. 